Welcome to my channel, Beautifying MZ. Today I bring you Mask Monday plus reviews. To find out what I'm reviewing, stay tuned. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Well, today I bring you Mask Monday. I do have a late start to my day. Um, just did a few more things before relaxation time. Uh, the mask that I'm bringing you today is by J. June Cosmetic, and it is the Wake Pure She's So Calming Mask. I hope that's how you say it. And for those of you that have been watching me, you know I struggle with face masks, with sheet masks. They're not my favorite, but I am determined that one day I will love them. I'm not getting too far ahead on that, but I'm definitely going to give it another try. And I do struggle with getting them off of the layers or... So I'm not sure how this is going to go and it is really runny, but I'll be putting it on my face. And I should have done this first without the filming, but, and then I will go ahead and review what it is that I'm doing today. I did once again, turn it into a me day. Uh, but I took care of some things first to get them out of the way. And this way I could just relax and take my time in doing what I wanted to do with both my hair and my skin. And here we go. Not sure how this is going to work, but here goes nothing. And I do put my masks in the fridge whether it be a skin uh, container mask or the sheet masks. And I have given several of them a try and I just struggle with them. I'm, I like to walk around and do a lot of things at the same time. I'm, I don't know how to just sit there and wait for the mask to take effect, but it looks like this one is different than the others. This one's, it's a little slippery, but not too much. Um, and I apologize, I'm using the camera as my mirror. But definitely feels really, really good. It is a moisturizing and I believe it revitalizes. revitalizes. Um, let me take a look here. And of course, I'm going to need my glasses for that. And I should have read it beforehand. It's a skin soothing face mask that helps to calm the skin's appearance and deliver long lasting hydration, which is something that I need this morning, uh, being that I did my exfoliating um, for the week. And what I use, and I'm just going to go in order of how I use my products. And I do use the PMD. So, this is something that I absolutely love. I just love the way it feels on my skin. Um, I feel that it cleans it. And it doesn't get germs or... <laughs> it is silicone, so it's supposed to not create any type of bacteria. Um, but I do sanitize it anyways. And my skin or the cleansing wash and I am all over the place I'm getting a little antsy <laughs> and it's the Elemis Superfood Sigacalm Calm Cleansing Foam and this is actually my third um, bottle of this cleanser I absolutely love it I love how my skin feels after I cleanse it it does not over dry it I just love it it's amazing but before I or once I cleanse I'm sorry I do the exfoliating uh, I do it once a week, sometimes once every two weeks, depending on what kind of a week I had. And the one I used today was the Kate Somerville uh, Exfolicate. I love 
this. Uh, the first time that I used it, I did kind of freak out a little bit because it does give like a little burning sensation. Um, I'm used to that now. I don't leave it longer than the maximum required two minutes. Uh, there are days that I do feel like it's a little excessive um, and I do remove it a little earlier than the two minutes, but I've come to learn what my skin will tolerate and what it will not. And I go according to that. I follow my skin. I do. I listen to my skin. Then uh, before I even apply the mask, I do go in with a toner. And at the moment I'm using the Tula um, Probiotic Skin Care Pro Glycolic Toner. And it is a resurfacing gel toner. I love it. It, it has a little pump. So it's different than the toners that I've used in the past. Uh, it is a gel that turns into water-like consistency, and I just love it. It does not over-dry my skin. It does not have an alcohol-heavy scent to it. It actually smells really nice. It's not overpowering, but it does have a pleasant scent. And here we are with the mask. So now that I have the mask on, I am going to roll it a little bit. Um, and I do keep my roller in its container. I do sanitize it and periodically I sanitize the container as well. And I keep it in my fridge. Um, it is, it feels amazing while it's cold. And I absolutely love it. And it looks like this mask is staying. This is actually the first mask that has stayed and it may well be that it felt like a paper mask so I'm not sure if that's the difference and the masks that I have used before are masks that are gel like or silicone like I'm not sure if that makes the difference so not a bad deal with this one I'm liking it is it annoying that I'm talking and it's moving? Yes, it is. I think that's my biggest annoyance is that I talk and it moves. And it just, I don't know, I'm a little OCD, I guess. But I'm not having too many difficulties with this one today. And that's not a bad deal. Okay, and I also did my hair. And for my hair, what I did today was my purple shampoo. And this is what I use uh, at the moment. And it's the Joico um, Color Balance Purple. And I love it. It does not over dry my hair. I don't leave it for too long. I've known people that leave it on for an hour, two hours. No, not for me. I feel that it would over dry my hair and I've worked a little too hard to get it to where I don't use chemicals in it, uh, color chemicals. And this is perfect for me. I absolutely love it. And this I got at Ulta. It was one of my Ulta hauls. Okay, and what I used on my hair after I did the purple shampoo, or I used the purple shampoo, is something by Main Club and it's Bat Attitude. And I believe I received this, I'm not sure if it was a glossy box or I'm not sure which subscription box I received it, but I did give it a try. And I actually liked the way it left my hair feeling. Um, I did not have to apply my leave-in conditioner. I felt that it was okay. And today for the first time in almost a year I'm actually going to apply heat to my hair I'm going to straighten it I had not done that in almost a year simply because I did not want to do any kind of heat to it I have seen so many horror stories that they put heat on it and it changes the color of their hair and but I've seen enough that it does fade away and it does go back to normal so I'm gonna give it a try and <laughs> I do actually have a story on that uh, one of my co-workers, um, she decided she was going to straighten my hair. And as soon as she did the first strand, uh, which was somewhere here in the front, she put the straightener down and said, no, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. And 
don't look at your hair. I actually had a pink strip down on that one strip that she did iron it and it was not on high heat because I told her I did not want super high heat so it was on low heat and it still did that and since then which was almost a year ago I decided I'm not putting any kind of heat even the blow dryer I just let my hair dry naturally um, so that is what I have in my hair and it looks like the mask is pretty good it says to leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes I'm not making this video 30 minutes so that's not gonna happen but I will definitely come back and review what my skin felt like after I remove it um, I do have several other videos that I will be doing today so keep an eye out for those but it looks like that is it for mask Monday Again, it's moving, and I think this is my annoyance, but I don't know. I'm liking the way it feels, but I'm not liking that it moves all over the place. So for now, I'm just going to leave it alone. <laughs> I removed the mask, and it actually feels amazing. It feels moisturized and hydrated, and I'm actually liking the way my skin feels and again the mask did stay on but that whole moving around thing I'm not sure how I feel about that still working it's a work in progress but we've done some kind of progress but I won't keep you on here too long anymore so once again stay blessed stay safe smile always bye